Halo Infinite's multiplayer concerns me. And not because I have any more information than the average person, but strictly because it was just announced recently that Halo Infinite's multiplayer is going to be completely free to play. Meaning anybody with an Xbox account can easily install and play Halo Infinite's multiplayer by paying absolutely nothing. And this seems like a really good announcement, and it is in a lot of ways. It gives the opportunity for the Halo franchise to grow even more. You can bring in a lot of new players, people who haven't really been too interested in Halo, but now that it's free, they can try it out. And you also have the potential to recoup lost fans. A lot of people have been turned off since Halo Reach, Halo 4 and 5 especially being pretty divisive in the community. So, by having Halo Infinite's multiplayer free to play, people who kinda lost interest in the series might be inclined to at least try it out, because they don't have to pay anything into it. Now of course, you can still purchase Halo Infinite, which will give you access to campaign and whatever else they decide to add on, but multiplayer being completely free to play is relatively a good thing. The issue becomes monetization. Microsoft needs to make a profit somehow, right? I mean, Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate are already an incredible deal. You get first party Microsoft titles for absolutely no extra cost. Me, myself, having Game Pass Ultimate all the way up until 2022, I get Halo Infinite, I got Gears 5, by paying absolutely nothing extra than what I paid for when I bought the subscription. The Game Pass deal is absolutely amazing. So now you are adding the fact that Halo Infinite's multiplayer is free to play on top of that, and you have even more revenue that you're potentially losing out on. It's no secret that the deal you get with Game Pass is phenomenal, but Microsoft isn't getting your $60 for each new first party game they got. I'm sure that they are making a lot of money with Game Pass, but it might be less than what you would have been paying if you were to purchase these games straight up. So with Halo Infinite's multiplayer going free to play, you need to figure out some sort of a way to monetize it, to make money off of this product. You're putting it out free of charge. There's been a lot of time and effort and money put into it. You need to get money out of it. If you look at a lot of free to play games, you can probably guess the model that Infinite will be going with. You can either do a battle pass system or a direct buy system or loot boxes. I'm pretty sure it was already confirmed that there will be absolutely no paid loot boxes in Infinite, which is a really good idea in my book. I mean, loot boxes are essentially gambling. It's a random chance you're paying money for something that you're not guaranteed. The Battle Pass system is more than likely the safest bet, as if you go to the Master Chief Collection, there is a Battle Pass system in play there. Though you don't have to pay for it in the Master Chief Collection. I feel like they're just testing the waters in the Chief Collection to see what it can be like in Halo Infinite. But then the problem with that becomes, I want other ways to unlock cool customization items. If you lock everything that's really worthwhile getting behind a paid battle pass, well then, really, what's the incentive of playing in different ways? I loved being able to grind out different challenges and to unlock new customization items for my Spartan. Being able to customize your character in any way you want, but by also getting these items from doing unique challenges, really helps uniquely identify yourself with who you're playing as. Being able to unlock the recon armor from Halo 3 by doing those Vidmaster challenges, or the katana, the Hayabusa armor, all these things you got in previous Halos from doing unique challenges. I still want that to be in Halo Infinite. And if you lock everything behind a battle pass that you gotta pay for, it doesn't come down to what challenges have you done, like how far have you progressed, it goes really how long have you played the game. That's kind of what determines how quickly and how much you rank up in a battle pass. They could have a direct buy system from a store, but then you run into the problem of prices being a little bit high. Look at games like Fortnite, you could be paying up to $20 for a single skin, and then, well, if you want to get your money's worth, or at least feel like you did, you kind of want to run it for a while. So overall, I'm super excited for Halo Infinite's multiplayer. They definitely have a lot of work to do to polish the game, make it look better, and make it more uh, desirable for people to play. I'm just worried about how they're going to make money off of this one. Microsoft seems to be very consumer-friendly this go-around, but really, it feels like they might be hiding something. I hope there's no shady businesses in the background, but we won't know until the game's released or more information is given. Let me know what you're thinking about Halo Infinite. Are you excited for it? Are you going to skip out? Are you going to try multiplayer at least that it's free? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.